Hello everyone and welcome back to Somali Christian TV. We are your favorite Somali ex-Muslims spreading Christianity and exposing the deception of Islam. If you want to learn more about this, please hit the subscribe button. It's me, Somali Prophet, and I wanted to talk to you about the time that Muhammad stole his adopted son's wife. Yes, you heard me correctly. Muhammad actually stole his adopted son's wife. How insane is that? Let's begin by reading a passage from Al-Tabari, volume 8, page 4. The messenger of God had married Zaid to Zainab, his paternal aunt's daughter. One day the messenger of God went out looking for Zaid. Now there was a covering of hair cloth over the doorway, but the wind had lifted the covering so that the doorway was uncovered. Zainab was in the chamber, undressed, and admiration for her entered the heart of the prophet. After that happened, she was made unattractive to other men. Zaid. So he, Zaid, came and said, Messenger of God, I want to separate myself from my companion, Zainab. Muhammad asked, What is wrong? Has anything on her part disquieted you? No, by God, replied Zaid. Nothing she has done has disquieted me, Messenger of God, nor have I seen anything but good. The Messenger of God said to him, Keep your wife to yourself and fear God. That is, the meaning of the word of God is, when you said unto him on whom God has confirmed favor and you have confirmed favor, keep your wife to yourself and feared God. And you did hide in your mind that which God was to bring to light. You, prophet, did hide in your mind the thought that if he separates himself from her, I will marry her. So as you can see, Muhammad was attracted to his adopted son's wife ever since he laid eyes on her undressed body. It says admiration, but we all know from his character that he was aroused at the sight of her. So what did Muhammad do? He concocted a plan to get her all to himself. Poor Zaid. By the way, if you like our content, please support our Patreon and PayPal. Let's read. Tafsir Quran 3337 The Messenger of God purchased him before his call to prophethood and then manumitted him and adopted him as his son. Retain your wife for yourself and fear God before divorcing her but you had hidden in your heart what God was to disclose, what he was to manifest of your love for her and of the fact that should Zaid part with her, you would marry her. And you feared people would say, he has married his son's wife. Though God is worthier that you should fear him in all things, so take her in marriage and do not be concerned with what people say. Zaid subsequently divorced her and her obligatory waiting period was completed. So Muhammad, who was attracted to Zainab, his adopted son's wife, heard from Allah that he should not care if people say that he has married his son's wife. They would be phased even. How strange is that? Now it was time for Muhammad to go out to the world and share news that he married his son's wife. Oh, but what's this? Allah suddenly, in perfect timing, reveals more to Muhammad. How convenient. Quran 33.4 Nor has he made your adopted sons your real sons. Quran 33.40 Muhammad is not the father of any man among you. Convenient. So according to Allah, his adopted son is not his son at all. So he's free to marry Zaid's wife without any complications. Perfect timing. So how did Aisha react to this? Al-Tabari, volume 8, page 3. Zaid separated from her and left her, and she became free. While the messenger of God was talking with Aisha, a fainting came over him. When he was released from it, he smiled and said, Who will go to Zainab to tell her the good news, saying that God has married her to me? Then the messenger of God recited, And when you said unto him, on whom God has confirmed favor, and you have confirmed favor, keep your wife to yourself, and the entire passage. According to Aisha, who said, I became very uneasy, uncomfortable. Even Aisha was uncomfortable seeing what was taking place here. Deep down, she knows that this is all a bunch of nonsense and that this situation is completely unheard of. I wanted to share this story with you because it amused me. Instead of following the womanizer Muhammad, aka Mr. Steal Your Girl, come to the light and follow the true Son of God, Jesus Christ. Check out our next videos on screen now.